President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are hosting a state dinner in honor of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and his wife Yoko. But before those festivities could get underway, there was work to do strengthening a military alliance between the two countries, addressing concerns around the world. Skylar Henry has the latest now from the White House. President Biden and Japan's Prime Minister spent the day finalizing new military agreements to counter threats from North Korea and China. And continue to enhance and ensure Indo-Pacific remains a free, open and prosperous region of the world. The two countries will expand cooperation with a new U.S. military structure in Japan that improves integration between the two forces. The countries will produce weapons together with a new military industrial council and a new pact that integrates the U.S. Japan and Australia's anti-missile defense systems. President Biden said this should not provoke military aggression from China. It's a defensive alliance and the things we discussed today improve our cooperation and are and are purely about defense and readiness. The two leaders discussed other global concerns including the Israel-Hamas war. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Biden said Netanyahu has promised to allow more aid into Gaza and to try to limit civilian deaths. We'll see what he does in terms of meeting the commitments he made to me. Both leaders were asked about Russia's war in Ukraine. President Biden used his answer to try to put pressure on House Speaker Mike Johnson to take up a bill to supply Ukraine with more aid. The war in Ukraine comes down by the House leader allowing a vote. There's overwhelming support for Ukraine among the majority of Democrats and Republicans, there should be a vote now. The president also said he stands by his opposition to the sale of U.S. steel to Japanese-based Nippon Steel. Outside of war and politics, the prime minister announced Japan will be gifting 250 new cherry trees to celebrate America's upcoming 250th birthday. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And President Joe Biden said the trees that the Prime Minister of Japan gave to the United States will be planted on the Tidal Basin in Washington, D.C., near the MLK Memorial.